a while back, I had a conversation with Weedad, and Weedad said, you know, she said about 20 years ago, she said, I did an interview for a newspaper, and so did Lorraine Massey from Diva Curl, founder. And she said, there's some really inf interesting information in that. Go and find that. So I did, and I couldn't find it. And then the last time I talked to her, she brought it up again. She said, did you ever find that article I told you to find? And I said, no. She said, you need to go find that. So I did, and I finally I did some more research, did some more research, and sure enough, I found it. Um, 2004, there's an article in the New York Times. Um, it should be easy to search now because I've been telling people about it. So now that you know, Google Analytics will pick up that, you know, lots of people are searching it, it'll come up easier now. 2004 article in the New York Times with um, Lorraine Massey from Diva Curl and Weedad Steven from Weedad. Look at that. It's very eye-opening. They talk about techniques. They talk about their thoughts. And this, and this is literally, what, 16-year-old article? Look that up. It's going to be a lot of key uh, to this. So let's go back to the influencers. So what I did is I'm like, okay, let's have these conversations. And I reached out to the most vocal, visible you know, influencers on YouTube and Instagram that have spoken out about Diva Curl to come on and let's do panel discussion and talk about this and let's get some answers. Here's who I reached out to and here are the answers I got. India Batson, no, no response. I made multiple attempts. These, me, not my people, I did this. Aisha Malik, no, no response, multiple tries. Bianca Renee today, no, no response, multiple tries. Hi Felicia, no, no response, multiple tries. Dr. Dre, no, multiple tries, no responses. Uh, the Curl Ninja, no, no response, multiple tries. And I made her some offers to help her out in her situation uh, for free at our salon, yet uh, she did not respond. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Curly Susie, no, no response, multiple tries. Joy Before Her, no, no response, two tries. Mains by Mel, no, no response, one try. However, I'll cut her some slack because I reached out to her this past Friday, so it's been not even a week. Um, so I, I I get it, but still, you know, I she responds to all you know all her stuff, you know, when people post. So um, um, she had to see it. Reason now, let, let's talk about Mains by Mel for a little bit. So you're probably wondering why are you doing this video and not editing it, and it's longer than it should be because we're, you know, we're seeing all your stops and whatever. The reason is, is because we talk about on the Curly Hair Q&A show all the time about who do you listen to? Who are you listening to? Are you listening to the experts or are you listening to people who just happen to have a YouTube channel or an Instagram? I'm not bashing her, but I'm going to say this. that up. Again, not bashing, just pointing it out. What are we at? I can't see it. Oh God, sorry you guys. But you see the importance of this, of why this is so long. Um, uh, Sierra M, Sierra Mi Lunasa, no response. However, she did do a Raw Curls review, full disclosure, a number of years back when she was a teenager. Now she's got to be in her early 20s. She's uh, from Ireland. She's Irish. Uh, waist length curls. Well, I found out why. She hasn't been around for about a year on her channel, and I found out why her hair fell out. Um, Diva Curl user. So I think, let me see, do I have anybody else that I reached out to? 
So the fact of the matter is, is I just gave you a whole list of the top influencers and none of them will come on to talk about the situation and what to do about it, why it's happened, uh, what are the answers, what are the solutions, so we can, move, we can all move on and these women can all get better. I find that really, really interesting. So the crap hits the fan and they're nowhere to be seen except to complain in videos. Who are you listening to? You know, who are you listening to? What I would really like to see is I'd really like to see um, professional stylists now come out and start talking and you guys to start listening. I'm not isolating and I'll, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to end this with, you know, with my solutions. Um, if you follow any of these influencers, I would highly encourage you to encourage them to come on to the Curly Hair Q&A show and talk with some industry professionals, behind the chair stylists, product manufacturers. We get tons of them on. We want everybody to be able to talk. We want everybody to come to the table so we can discuss these things. But we, we need them to talk to us and I know that by you guys encouraging them, that will, that will do it. So what's the, what's the answer and what are we doing at it um, at Raw Curls and, um, uh, and the Curly Hair Q&A show? Well, we made an announcement last Saturday night. It was a big announcement. It's something that Melanie and I have been working on since the middle of last year when this kind of happened. Uh, we bought a big piece of land down in Naples, Florida, and we are opening a 6,000 square foot retreat type facility uh, with probably one, maybe two other additional buildings um, called the Curl Institute. What's the Curl Institute? It's a training facility for anyone that wants to come and educate from a professional level, stylists, techniques, um, manufacturers on products and whatever, we, we don't care. We need knowledge and we need it brought together. It's too fragmented right now in this industry. Um, the other thing that we're going to do in that facility as well, as soon as it's finished, is we are going to bring in and offer classes for the curly hair influencers, for the YouTubers, the Instagrammers, the bloggers, where industry professionals can sit you down for a weekend and we can talk and we can educate you. We're not going to teach them how to be hairstylists, but we're going to teach them what they really need to know. So when you guys are watching influencers on, online moving forward now, they can say, I've been trained at the Curl Institute. So you know there's a credibility level instead of somebody at, I say it all the time, and it's kind of condescending, but at the same time it's not that, you know, they're at their parents' house, their parents' bathroom, bought a bottle of this, and they're, you know, that's what I believe started this problem is the, the professionals, the industry professionals in the curl industry being pushed aside for people a whole lot prettier than I am and more bubbly and more fun and much younger, you know, and, and it's, you know, and here's where we are. So that's, you know, that's, you know, the solution that we're offering is to build the Curl Institute, to actually build a facility, to bring everybody together, to, to be the knowledge center, not brand specific to anything. It's knowledge based and we educate the people who are in touch with the consumers behind the chair and behind the camera. Second thing that we're doing that we're just about to announce this week, we've also started the, uh, Melanie Nichols and I started the American Board of Certified Curl Specialists. What is that? If you want to be considered a curl specialist, which is one of the problems of the Diva Curl issue is people were going to these look, look and learns and then coming back and telling everybody on websites and stylist finders and whatever, yup, I'm, I'm Diva trained. They weren't Diva trained. They stood in front of a you know, somebody else, you know, showing you how a, a diva curl cut went. And then you go to their salon and they're telling you that you're, they're, you know, they're diva trained and they're not trained on how to wash the hair or how to use the diva curl products. And they're training up people and they haven't had the training. And you guys who are in the curly groups on Facebook and whatever, you're seeing people who said, who are saying every single day that, yeah, I went and I got a diva cut by a diva stylist said so on their website and I got hacked and they're crying and they did this and this and this and whatever. That's why. And that's why we need this American board of certified 
curl specialists. We need somebody to certify the training and send these people out. So they're not saying, I'm diva trained, I'm weed ed trained, I'm rezo trained, I'm whatever trained, and you have no way of knowing. With this organization, you'll be able to go to the website and see, are they on there or are they not? What are they certified in? Are they certified or are they not? Um, this project is probably going to be the biggest thing that ever hits the curl industry, at least since its inception in 1980, and it, it, if not ever, because we're bringing everything together and we're going to stop what's, what's happening. We're going to stop it right in its tracks. You'll have one place to go to find the certified curl specialist, the true specialist. So uh, people on board on that project, just to give you an idea right now, some pretty big names. Uh, myself, uh, Melanie Nichols, uh, founder of the Raw Curls brand and a 23-year behind-the-chair stylist, which is where she is right now, cutting curls. 6,000 people a year, curlies, go through that salon and get services. Uh, Weed Dad Steven, founder of Weed Dad herself, the queen of curls, on board with the um, American Board uh, Project. Um, uh, also, uh, Sherry Harbinger, uh, Diva Curl co-founder, founder of the Diva Curl Academy, on board. And I've got a couple other people that are also going to be on board to put this deal together for the certification, but I can't announce them yet. And that's all going to be run out of the Curl Institute in Naples. There's your fix. So anyway, uh, God, I think I did. Are we at an hour yet? Have we bored everybody to death? All right, we're going to wrap it up. Okay, we're at 57 minutes. That's it. All right. Um, if you've got questions, put them in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel, wherever that thing is, and, and click the bell, because I've got a couple more. Um, I'm going to show you ingredients. I'm going to put out ingredients. I'm going to show you the difference between cosmetic, pharmaceutical grade, cosmetic grade, uh, industrial grade, uh, what the heck else, food grade. I'm going to show you some of this later in the week. You guys are want to see this. Um, it'll... It'll be really interesting for you guys who are who are believing that's the Diva Curl products. You'll see, and I'll tell you more about that. Um, what else? Yeah, if you've got qu legit questions about this comment, um, I you know I, what I don't don't even bother. We're just gonna delete. If you're gonna you know rip on everything or complain that I'm too hard on people, whatever, I don't need to hear it. I'm gonna delete it. Don't waste your time. Spend it on something else. Um, you don't have to tell me I'm ugly or whatever. I get enough of those all the time. Just gonna delete them. Um, or my wife. That's the other one I get a lot. Um, or stupid or mean or whatever the heck because that's not the intent of this. So anyway, all right. Good luck. You got comments. Watch my next videos that are coming out and uh, hopefully that helps. If there's anything I can do for you, um, please let me know. I'm more than happy to help. Anyway, take care.